Hey, what's up? It's your boy Line back again for another Madden moment. This time is not really a Madden moment. I think I'm gonna call this Madden predictions. Because tonight is Monday, and as you know, the Colts play Philly, and I decided to do my own scenario, putting me behind. So I'm playing as the Colts because my girl is a Colts fan. Yeah, we got a crazy household. I'm ready to see Colts. We play in like another week or two. We see how that goes. But as of right now, Philly is winning. It's 20 to 27 right now, and I have the opportunity to go kick some ass. So let's just see what Andrew will. And matter of fact, how's everybody doing? And I know it's Happy Monday. Everybody hates Monday, but this video is going to make y'all love Mondays because I'm going to start doing NFL predictions. So as I, as you sit back, did what Andrew Luck would do, find Reggie Wayne in the open, eating up them linebackers, getting up a little slowed up. Early in this game play, Andrew Luck got hurt without for a quarter or two and came back. So I would say I was hoping to have him back with his uh, game play at the end, which he did. So I stepped up the right here. Come back me. Like I did with the Steelers game play. I want to have I want them to have no time on the clock. Like I don't know why I keep threading the needle. I keep threading the needle or taking my time and running out the clock and trying to get these last minute little touchdowns that way they won't have nothing but I really fuck myself sometimes I won't have no really shit to do but anyway Trent Richardson had a good college where it came out there for the Colts right now just bowled over somebody so I decided to keep the running game going I was like man fuck it ain't broke don't fix it but I had to find a way to trick everybody they were stopping me for a little bit uh, it didn't look like I was getting stopped but early in the game play they was fucking with your boy pretty hard because it is Philadelphia got that little tough luck hard defense right here I decided to just keep the run play going and how you like that just tripped up off thin air and fell into nobody so this play right here I decided to come out and pass I believe I came out but no I didn't come out and pass not quite yet yeah right here I believe it's around the thing I was going to come out and pass and flick it to a run play right here just to try to put them off guard real quick everything's working so uh here you go right here this is all for the money right here this is what i did so i get some receivers on the sides to throw everybody off that way but they would run to the left try to sneak one in but now they wasn't having it i understand this is philly they got a little bit of tough defense you know what I mean? Look at that this little run ah i hate when they don't pick up that last corner it's always a corner or a linebacker to somehow to get to that. Come out, beat. Come on, you're a running back. You should be able to get past a fucking a four-seven runner any day. But this is mad, and I guess they got equals put in some kind of way. But like I said, look at the clock. 16 seconds. You think I would, you know, doing other plays to get in the end zone? But nobody got one touchdown. Got to make it epic as I can. Got to make it look like I'm desperate. Make it look like I don't know what I'm doing sometimes. A lot of people like to do this. But as you see right there, the Superman, the relaxation after that touchdown. But I knew they couldn't stop the run, and I knew since they hit that outside run that the outside was all over. They knew they got some slow ass defensive ends. Now, I did something I'm normally never like to do. I left them 13 seconds up on the clock, which is uh, a little bit more than I wanted. Maybe three seconds would have been nice. But I was just trying to eat up some clock myself and wasn't paying attention to this little, uh, this little five minute time I had. And look, at, I had to ice me. And it's good that they iced me because I thought about it. I was like, should I go for this kick? And here you go. Do my thing. I can easily take it to overtime right and now, but once again, it's something about you guys. I gotta spice up this video, make it hard. <laughs> Cause like I said, it could easily, easily, easily take it to overtime. Then I could have diced this video up in two in two parts. But I was like, nah, I'm giving you my bold prediction that Indianapolis Colts will come back and win in a high scoring game, maybe by score seven or maybe close like this. This could be done close like this. But there you go, two point conversion. Over 13 seconds left. I seriously doubt they're coming back. But uh, I don't honestly think the Colts are going to come back. I'm not just saying that. I'm a real Colts fan. I, mean, I don't want to sleep on the couch or anything. But uh, yeah, I think they should be able to They got Andrew Luck, who's uh, a more all around quarterback than Cubs any day. So, there you go. Little kick real quick. I meant to to kick. I meant to kick it back farther. But, you know, I'll let them run off the clock. Here's where I kind of, kind of got a little bit sloppy. This play coming up, picked the wrong defense by accident, and they scared me. With this little bit, I put just enough fear in his heart for everybody to drop it. But at the end of this play, after that, leaving five seconds, ain't no way they want to come back. But thanks for watching this game play. That's my bold Madden prediction. Both come back and come from behind win and beat the Philadelphia Eagles. I'll let your boy thanks for watching. Yeah, I'll get you off. About the 35 on this drive in order to kick a field goal.